shot, the strategic airstrike in Kundang aimed at Sudano was successful. Military intelligence, well, marks a dramatic reversal in U.S. and coalition efforts in Indonesia. General Kellner predicted a favorable resolution within. Even if Sudano has survived, he's dropped so completely from public view that hostage taken by Sudano from the U.S. Embassy to Dili is still unaccounted for. Shadownet is coming together better than anyone could have expected. Sedano's insurance policy is as good as cancelled. So what are the Joint Chiefs suggesting we do with Sedano? We take him alive. We learned with Nicolades how assassinated leaders tend to be stubborn ghosts. Capture Suhadi Sedano. Now that the ND-133 have been located, Sedano is open to attack. Coordinated remotely with ShadowNet's neutralization of the ND-133, locate and capture Suhadi Sedano. CIA operative Ingrid Carlson is on site, under cover, and will assist in the mission. Here we are. This could end it if Carlson comes through. I trust her. I don't. First Dahlia, now Ingrid. Sometimes I think you don't like women. Like isn't the word. But don't ask me about it and I won't tell. And I was right about Dahlia. I met Carlson and Dilly. Looked in her eyes. She'll do fine. Good luck. Give my regards to Sedano. You need to infiltrate the TV station first. This is where Ingrid and Sedano are. Hey everybody, it's Cotton here, and I am bringing you some more of my full stealth playthrough of Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. In the last episode, we infiltrated the submarine, submarine to find out where, of the, where all of the Pandora Tomorrow phone calls were going. And in this episode, we're going to be infiltrating the television yeah. station Why? to capture I Sedano. So right here, there's two ways you can go. You can go along the street, but it's pretty lit up. But the second way you can go is up this pipe and along the roof. And it's a lot darker and you have nobody to deal with, so it's easier just to go up this way. There's also a funny line that we'll be hearing probably a few times later on in this episode. Should say at any moment. God, be careful! Something fell from the roof! Ah, there it is. Yeah, we'll be hearing that a little bit more often. It's kind of funny. I when I when I first played this, it always kind of freaked me out a little because I was like, "Oh no, they know I'm here," but it's I don't know. They just say it. I, yeah, I, kind of annoying, but whatever. Uh, there's a few guys down there, but first we'll need to shoot out that light. I just need to make uh, wait for that guy to get away from it, though. Shoot it out with no distractions. There we go. And then you can climb out onto this pipe and get down to the bottom. And let's see. I think that's mostly the only guy I have to worry about, at least while I'm going down the pipe. Shoot. Where are you? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I have no idea where that guy was going. Oh man. Um. Yeah, let's see, this, uh, this will just, I can wait it out, it just makes things take a little longer. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to shoot out that light right there, because we have to get inside, um, I guess this building right here, right in front of us there. 
Uh, but we're going to go across that zip line. And so you'll see why we have to shoot out that light. Because we have to go up uh, some ladders and some scaffolding to uh, get there. Now I need to quietly go down this pipe. And then I think I'm free to shoot it out. That sounded close. Hopefully no one... Okay. <laughs> you have to be careful when you shoot close to people. They might trigger an alarm, which has already happened to me while uh, trying this level. I already played through this level once, and like I recorded commentary for it, but when I listened back to it, oh man, it sounded terrible. I sounded like bored or something. I I don't know, but like I recorded it at like... 11 o'clock at night, so that's probably why. So I'm just redoing it now to hopefully, I don't know, add a little bit of more life into the commentary for this level. The tier. Go ahead. Then Yuck says your boys aren't wearing their headgear. That's right, sir. Night vision's not safe with the lightning. Flash blinded snipers would be useless to you. So how are we covering the parking lot? We've got extra men down there. It should be fine. Okay, and so those guys, this pretty much informs you that um, uh, there's going to be lightning out here. And when the lightning strikes, you get lit up, you know, so it, li it lights up the area and no, enemies sure. are able to see you. Uh, you. You'll you know when the lightning's coming because you'll hear the We're thunder first, and world. then, you know, the lightning will, will strike and, 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 you know, the light will shine yeah, everywhere. And so there's just these two guys out here that you have to worry about. It's not much of an issue, you just have to wait on them for a little bit. And yep, he's coming this way, so... Luckily he can't see you in between this small gap, that's, uh, that's very nice. But yeah, usually once you start your way over there, like the lightning will strike the first time, so I usually just kind of walk out a little bit and then head back. Uh-oh. Okay, no, I'm good. Uh, when you're underneath structures like this, or buildings, uh, nobody... Uh, the, or I, I should say, the lightning won't light you up. At least I believe I'm safe under this... Oh, there's no roof on it. Oh, no, I don't think I'm safe here. Oh, shoot. Um, okay. Luckily, nothing bad has happened yet. You can shoot out that light. Shoot, shoot. Oh no, damn it. Okay, now I'm back here again. I remembered it stays dark. You have to like loop around and then you stay in darkness. But I, I gotta be careful of this guy. Oh shoot, I don't know what's dark. There we go. <laughs> I like how I can see shadows, but it was like I was still in darkness. Uh, there's a smoke grenade in here, which will probably come in handy later on, so I'm going to pick it up. And what I need to do is shoot out at least that light right there, because that's that part of the fence is the only part that's open for us to actually uh, climb over. Whoop. I don't know why. I just, just stood up. The game did that automatically. That's dumb. But I'll just shoot that out. And Uh-oh. That guy heard something, and he's coming. Oh, great. He's probably going to walk in here. No! Hey, look at me. Lucky me, I mean. Yeah, okay, so... Just wait on this guy. There hasn't been a lot of lightning, I just realized that. That's good, I'm not complaining. That's... Lightning is kind of annoying. But here we go. Once you get here, all you need to do is jump onto the fence, jump on the fence, and then climb over. Now this next part, I actually haven't had much issue right here. I, I used to have a lot of trouble during this part when I actually, like, played through it, like, normally, but uh, surprisingly, it's been easier for me, like, not knocking out these guys. I don't know how that works, but... What I'm going to do is just uh, shoot out these lights. There's those two lights, and then there's the one on the car. So I'm going to shoot all of those out. 
there is supposed to be lightning. There's usually a lot more lightning than this. Like, it usually happens, like, every so often, but I... What, it's only, like, happened once right now? I, yeah, oh well, like I said, I'm not complaining. Uh, and I believe there's a rep, about three guys out here, and... You know, once you get them moving around, it, you can kind of slip past them fairly easily. And... <laughs> These guys just repeating the same thing. There's nothing here! There's nothing here! Man, I'm really worried about that lightning. I usually like to move, like, right after the lightning has struck, but... Since it's not happening, like, I... I don't know, I'm risking it. Okay, but all we need to do is just go down into the sewers here, and yeah, we, yeah, we made it. Nothing to worry about. This would be a really good point for a checkpoint, or a really good spot for a checkpoint, but... Yeah, there is none, so... This part isn't too difficult, but it's... Uh, it's just annoying because, you know, if you don't... If you get caught or something, like, the last checkpoint was you know, way, you know, a little while ago, so that's kind of annoying. But there is a guy that's walking around over on that side, and so that's what I'm waiting for. There he is. I'm just gonna wait for him to turn back around, and then I'll make my move forward. A lot of water. I'm, I'm not too sure if you make extra noise in the water. I'd assume you would. But, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure, because I've kind of moved around in here and these guys never really noticed me too much like they never noticed the noise I made but yeah I, I still always like to uh, play careful Is somebody shooting? okay so that guy didn't notice notice anything but there is another guy on the other side that is uh, I have to worry about him, but yeah, I need to get rid of that camera. So that that other guy should come out here and start investigating, and so I'll just have to wait on him. This guy that's walking back and forth here, he's oblivious. He has no idea of what's going on, which is good. One less person to worry about. Oh, where's the other guy? I thought he was going to walk through here. Oh, there he goes. Probably like staring at the camera for a little bit. We're imagining things. Okay, yep. And I'll probably I'll see if I can just follow behind this guy. Kinda wanna like keep moving here. Wait, where'd the other guy go? Oh he's too far away. Oh well. So yeah, uh, we we had to shoot out the camera because I don't really believe there's um I don't think you can get r get rid of like all the lights what down there. Oh shoot. Man, you know the lighting in this game, I think I've mentioned it before, it just doesn't seem like too correct. You know, it seems like times when you should be lit up, you're not, and times when you should be in darkness, you you know, you're not. And uh, it, it's mostly like just a visual thing, you know, where you know, it's just like looks like you should be. But I am going to shoot out this light. The there we go. I kind of have to be careful when I shoot in this in this section because this guy stays so close to you that when you shoot, he might like realize that you're shooting and then trigger an alarm, which is what happened one time when I was playing through this part. But all we need to do is climb up the ladder here. And at the top, we're in this uh, little satellite area. And so there's uh, two spotlights. There's one that goes, like, you know, around that half. And then there's the second one that goes, I guess, on that half. But uh, if you turn on your thermal goggles, you'll see that there are landmines placed everywhere. So that's what makes this part, um, I guess, difficult in that you... Uh, it's not the spotlight you have to worry about, it's all the mines placed around here that you have to worry about. But what you can do, you know, you just move past it, wait for the light to uh, go past, and... Nope, nope. 
crap. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. And... Yeah, you just kind of have to get a feel for where the mines are and then just kind of hope you don't really run into them. But I, I think I'll try to make it over to this one. There we go. Yep, no problem. Okay, so now that that's our... Okay, now I have to wait on that spotlight. So let's... Okay, I'm going to just run for it and here and then... There we go, I should be clear after this. So this one's a little little trickier because it's facing the other way and um, yeah, so you know, you have less shadow to go in. But uh, the reason we didn't go left out there is because, you know, there's like a big line of mines right there. But actually, if you want to, I'll show you something real quick. You can just jump over them if you want, which I'll, uh, I'll show as soon as this light goes away. You just get up and then jump oh there we go I actually made it I I thought I was gonna get spotted or something I was totally expecting to have to restart uh, but I don't know no, it's a pleasant surprise that I don't have to so yeah uh, you know they make it look like you're supposed to go all the way around but you know like you can kind of jump over these with not too much of an issue if you really wanted to, you could actually, like, shoot the mines, and, um, yeah, that would blow them up, and you could just walk across, but, you know, that would set off an alarm, so it's probably not the best idea to do that. But as soon as that spotlight goes away, uh, this is your only free area to, um, oh, shoot. Press that spotlight, okay. Yeah, that's the only, uh, open spot that you can actually climb over. I hope he didn't notice me. I don't think he did. Yeah, no. And so right here we have to go through this door. And it's locked, so we have to uh, lock pick it. So, just do that. Now, we want to be quiet because there is a person right here. And uh, right over there, that's where we, like, uh, you know, climbed over the fence and then went down into the, uh, uh, the sewers the first time. Uh, we're just on, you know, the other side of, uh, you know, this gate here. And this is the television studio, and there's uh, two guys walking around out here. The main guy you have to worry about is this one right here, the, uh, the blue shirt guy. He just walks around this car, pretty much, and so you kind of have to move a little quick to uh, get past the car without him uh, seeing you. That guy just stands right there. You don't have to worry about him at all. He is no big deal. <laughs> so as soon as he goes by, I'm just gonna take a run for it. And Cohen was right to mistrust Miss Carlson. There's a reason for that wolf smell under the wool. She's an honest to god agent. A lot more than that hapless desk jockey she was playing. That makes sense if a bit far fetched that she just happened to be in the right place to luck away into being one of Sedona's hostages. She was at the embassy looking for Soth. The agency needed to know whether or not he was still a viable asset. I guess they got their answer. Okay, so we have to uh, get up on the roof here. And I'm going to... God, be careful! Something fell from the roof! Yeah, I don't know why somebody just yelled that. I have no idea who would have yelled it, but... Yeah, like I said, we're, we'd be hearing that uh, a bit a few more times. Yeah, this game just, uh, it, it just doesn't seem like it was, like, I don't know, checked all the way, you know, like, oh. I never knew any uh, people could hear you actually shooting this. Most of the times I played through, like, nobody ever noticed. So it's, it, it's even funnier that this guy doesn't notice. It's like, oh yeah, you know, a, a window on the roof just, you know, got shot open. I'm, I'm gonna sit here on my computer. Yeah, whatever. So we need to go into one of those elevators. And uh, this whole area is pretty well lit up, but what I'm going to do is actually follow behind this guy. So I'm just going to trail him once he uh, comes around his normal path here. So, yeah, I just have to wait for him to uh, head this way. Yeah, here he's here he comes. 
So as soon as he does that, I can uh, just follow behind him. Oop. What are you doing? Come on, buddy. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry this up. Let's get going. Let's get moving. Oh, there we go. So just follow behind him. You'll get lit up, but, it, you know, it doesn't matter because you'll be behind him. And as soon as he walks off that way, you can just head straight towards the elevators. Uh, press the button and then go up. And there we go. No problems. And this will take us to a loading screen. And I think this will do for this video. So, in the next episode, we will actually make our way to Carlson and capture Sedano and finish the rest of this mission. I will see you then, and thanks for watching.